how's it going everybody just wanted to take the time out to make this quick video um oh let me introduce myself it's your boy legendary beats um just wanted to make this quick video uh it's pretty much um a kind of not a tutorial but it's more informational uh where i'm giving information on the best hardware to get being a producer or an artist um it's tip one um pretty much the best way to better your music production. Um, in this video, I'm gonna go a little, a few things about hardware, and also gonna give you some info on like the best um, components to get for your computer, whether you're gonna build it or whether you're purchasing a new one um, flat out. Now, um, all the links for the products are gonna be down below for the parts. <laughs> and if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a message or ask me. All right, so. Uh, let's check this out. <clears throat> Alright, so hardware. You know, before you start worrying about soundproofing and mics and speakers, you need to make sure you have the correct hardware. Um, of course, that includes everything else, but the most important will be your computer, which includes you know, the CPU, motherboard, hard drive, RAM, power supply, and case. Uh, you don't have to know like the history of all these parts or the technical aspects of them. But being a producer or an artist, you should have a basic knowledge of these things. Um, so let's move on forward. Uh, why is it important? Uh, no matter how much you want to debate against it, your computer and other hard hardware components will be the deciding factor if your recording or beat production will come out sounding professional or pure noise. Um, uh, pretty much here, you know, why, what does that affect? Um, ever notice that while you are recording, you hear a buzzing sound, even when the room is quiet, or the track flickers in and out during playback. This is because your computer cannot handle the sound that's being inputted or generated. I know uh, being a producer, all producers have experienced this. A lot of artists have experienced this and sometimes we found, find like a temporary way to bypass this. But the best way to get rid of this is to get new hardware or to um, upgrade your hardware. Um, so pretty much how can you fix this? I just stated, get better equipment. I mean, there's no other answer besides that. I mean, if you get the correct hardware, you can bypass these small issues to optimize your music production quality. Uh, best thing is, it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg. You know, it doesn't have to cost a small fortune for you to get a decent quality machine to be able to give you a decent quality um, music production. Um, so let's check out some of the things. So CPU. CPU is a central processing unit. Um, Intel Sandy Bridge processors some of the best processes to use and I would suggest them. Um, you can do your own research to check them out yourself. Um, Intel Core i3 3.3 gigahertz processor comes out to be about $124.99. Um, that's a decent one to have. I do suggest um, an Intel i7 quad core processor or even an i5 dual core processor. Um, the dual core or the i5 um, series and the i7 series are probably the best ones to get because they do process the information a bit better. Quad core means that it has the strength of four processors. I would definitely say to get that if you can't afford it. It usually comes with about $200, $300. i5 is usually in the range near $200. It's not too much more than the i3 3.3 gigahertz processor. Definitely would say to check that out. Do your own research as well. Um, but I would support the i7, but the i3 will give you a decent um, quality work as well. Um, the motherboard, Asus, MSI, ASRock, and EVGA are great name brands to choose from when selecting motherboards. Um, you could get the ASRock H61 series Intel motherboard for $74.99. I do suggest the Asus P8Z77 um, series, uh, $184.99. reason why I suggest that one is because it has a few more inputs, audio inputs. Um, I do believe it allows you to upgrade up to about 60 gigabytes of RAM space. It might also have, um, uh, there's a video adapter as well, um, things like that. Features that you might be interested in, uh, which might actually benefit your, the quality of your performance as well. But the ASRock H61 would do what it needs to do. It's just going to have the basic um, regular inputs, um, but it also is great for uh, what you're going to need it um, for starting ground. For the memory, RAM memory is what controls the temporary storage of data used by the CPU. I suggest at least 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM memory depending on what you're using the computer for. 
especially if you're using a Windows 7 unit. Um, it could take up to, you know, I think it sees up, I don't think there's a limit on how much RAM it sees. I would say 32 gigabytes. Um, and I think the same with the Mac, I'm not really sure. Um, but I would suggest eight to 16 gigabytes if you're doing music, um, whether you're recording or um, whether you're actually producing beats. Uh, eight to 16 gigabytes is a safe range to have the um, memory in. Um, the Corsair XMS, four gigabyte memory, it's $22.99 currently. Um, it's definitely worth it. Um, also be on the lookout, make sure that your uh, motherboard, I'm not sure if this is like that two pack where it has two gigabyte, one's two gigabyte, then the other card is um, two gigabyte. So it gives you the four gigabyte packs. You have two units that you have to plug in. If it is that, you have to make sure that if you're planning to upgrade in the future, that your motherboard has enough slots to put in for the RAM. Um, being a producer, you might know what I'm talking about. If you ever opened up your computer and did any upgrades, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I would do suggest the Corsair Vengeance series, eight gigabytes. Usually if it's coming as a set, it's gonna come as two four gigabyte cards. You just clip them in, um, DDR3, 1600 to 12,800. Um, 12, um, the price is 89.99 for that. Definitely a good quality if you can't afford it. I would say put the investment in for that. Um, it's definitely worth it to have the eight to 16 gigabytes. This is if you're using Windows 7 or if you're using um, a Mac uh, Apple product because uh, Windows 7, I do believe it sees unlimited amounts of RAM and I think Apple might be the same thing. I'm not really sure. I'm not really an Apple user. Hard drive. You need a hard drive with a lot of space, especially if I've uh, specifically a 500 gigabyte to a terabyte hard drive or even both. Being a producer, an artist, you're using up a lot of um, VSTs, you're using a lot of plugins, things like that, programs that demand a lot of space. Um, get used to using external hard drives, extra hard drives, backup hard drives to store all your data, um, and also to store your data that you're using currently for your computer. I do suggest, however, to get a solid state drive to boot your system off of. Um, this being that the solid state drive uh, is very fast, it has non movable parts in there. Um, which means that it'll up, it'll upload or it'll boot. Excuse me, it'll boot your system in about like five seconds or so, flat. Um, and you store your data um, or your program data on the terabyte hard drive uh, or 500 gigabyte hard drive. That way, you know if your hard your main hard drive files which should be a solid state drive. You still have all your data, which means all you would have to do is get a new hard main hard drive and install the program, and you can still access all your data you still have it stored on the extra terabyte drive. That's a trick that I learned. I was working in a computer store and this customer actually told me about that. Makes a lot of sense. Um, Toshiba hard drive is one terabyte, 72 RPM, SATA, 7200 RPM, sorry. SATA, um, 7599, good prices. Um, as I said, invest in external hard drives as well. They're actually cheap, the portable ones. You can get a terabyte hard drive um, portable for about like $50. Um, but for the internal ones, run you about $75.99 as you see here, depending on the name brand, it could give or take a few dollars. Definitely worth the choice. If you can get two, get two if you can. Um, a power supply, definitely something that you would need. To What it does is powers everything that's um, all the components of your computer. Um, a good power supply will help things run smoothly and less likely to burn out. Um, I had a case where my power supply burned out because it was probably like a 400 watt and it was trying to push power for um, uh, for a lot of the components that were demanding more. So what happens is if you get a 16, 600 gigabyte, a 600 watt, excuse me, uh, power supply or more or higher, it should cover enough power for your unit, but depending on the components and how you're gonna be using it, what, whether you're gonna have it on for a long time, things like that. The more expensive the one you get, excuse me, the more um, likely it's gonna, the more, longevity it will have. Uh, the Corsair Builder Series 600 watt is a very nice unit, 78.99 for it. Um, it should do what you need it to do. Um, just take care of your computer and you should be fine. Um, so the DVD CD burner is definitely something that um, most computers come with. You don't have to get this if you really don't need it unless you're installing software, but I suggest to get it. Some people are still storing data on DVDs, which is still a good practice to have because DVDs never really get old once you take care of them. Um, it's a good way to store data. Also, if you're gonna burn files onto a CD to give to a client, things like that, um, especially if you're an artist, you would need this feature. Um, it's gonna cost as low as 
It's not expensive at all. You get a good quality one. Uh, it doesn't even matter the name brand necessarily because most of them all do the same thing for the same price. Uh, moving on, we have a case. The case is pretty much the embodiment of the whole thing. Uh, the case is what is going to hold all the pieces together. You need a good case that will give you enough room to add and remove components easily. I don't know if you ever purchased a Dell unit, a Dell PC. If you ever realize you ever try to open it and take any parts out, it's very compact. Uh, and what they do is, since the, all the parts are compact in there, and, you, and the hard the power supplies are specifically set for that unit for that case, now you have to go directly to Dell. It's almost like a monopoly scheme, if you ask me. But you know, uh, if you build your own your own system, pretty much the case, you usually get a case that has a nice size, and then you could go take in parts, take out parts, add, manipulate things as you need as you see fit. Um, it's definitely something that you should look into, and um, you should. Uh, take advantage of uh, the Rosewell uh, Blackhawk gaming ATX mid computer case beautiful case um, it's pure black it has five installed stand uh, fans already um, pretty much a nice cooler system that it comes pre-installed um, has some other features I'm not really sure what they were but uh, it comes with everything that you need um, you just have to install all the parts um, and we the total cost I guess is the question that everyone's asking so let's see. So CPU is one twenty four ninety nine. Motherboard sixty four ninety nine. RAM memory is forty nine ninety nine. Hard drive seventy five ninety nine. Power supply comes in at sixty nine ninety nine. DVD CD burner nineteen ninety nine. Case eighty nine ninety nine. So your total comes up to be about four hundred ninety five dollars. Under five hundred dollars, you're getting a decent computer, which is still upgradable. Um, based on whatever motherboard that you if you choose to get based on the examples I gave you um, you can upgrade to um, a certain amount of RAM you could change your CPU if you want to you could change your RAM hard drive things like that so you have a system that's decent that's good that will run that will last for a couple of years give you quality a quality result in music music wise and you can still upgrade it which is a great thing because now you can purchase you can purchase a thousand dollar computer if you want to but actually, if you check them out, some of them do have, a, uh, depending on where you purchase, if you don't purchase smart, a lot of these $800 computers are going to have components that this $500, unit is gonna, $500 unit is going to have. And what the manufacturers do, they put in like some big, um, very powerful parts, like probably they might have like an i7 processor, but the RAM is only like two or four gigabytes and your hard drive space is probably like 250, I mean, probably 500, excuse me. You know things like that so they try to get you I do suggest building it yourself uh, if you do come up with any problems you know eh. um, oh, and I did not add um, the price for the operating system that might run you about another hundred dollars so uh, probably six hundred dollars total that's with the operating system depending on which one you would get still a great unit still well worth it and it barely cost you anything um, I hope this has helped if you do have any questions sorry it went by so quickly only have 15 minutes to play with um so but um i hope this did help you um you could message me uh or facebook me facebook me let me give you all my links facebook me at facebook.com slash legendary beats um twitter.com slash legendary beats instagram.com slash legendary beats email me at legendary beats at gmail.com on uh, my business um email sales at legendary beats online.com uh definitely you know, check me out, ask me any questions that you may have, and I'll be sure to answer it. Uh, thanks a lot for supporting. I'm definitely looking forward to working with each and every one of y'all. Um, and keep your eyes out for more um, tips like this. I'm trying to upload one every week, especially uh, if you join my mailing list, you'll get the new update. All right, um, thanks very much for your support again. Uh, looking forward to working with you. Peace.